Ninja. Hey guys, what's up? Jolie Poffle is back again. I'm sorry that it's been so long since I've uploaded. I've just been very busy and up to basically my life, I guess. So we're going back in. We're still in Area 3. Area 3 is pretty long, and then Area 4 is ridiculously long because of all the backtracking. I'm going to be cutting out a bit of backtracking here, and oh jeez, I lost all of my health already. I think that's great. Let's go. Challenge accepted. So the first thing we're going to do is we got a key last time that goes here to the twins room. So in this twins room, I feel like this is inappropriate for a twins room. Monsters. Hmm, very ele That's elegant to you? What are you... No, it's not elegant. Play with the things on the ceilings. This is so difficult for me somehow. Go. Alright. Alright, here are the two little twins. They look very similar. Hey, mister, what are you doing over there by all yourself? Hey, why don't you go hide and seek with us? Ha 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 ha. Okay. Yay! Okay, we're gonna hide now, wait outside. So they're gonna go hide. These twins' names are Henry and Orville. Now, Henry, I'm sure, is a name that everybody's really heard of, like King Henry the First and um, King Henry the First, Henry Ford, stuff, things like that. The other one is named Orville. And that one's not quite as common of a name. Orville is a name that was created by a writer. His name was Fanny Burney. Here's an 18th century writer, and, oh, they're getting pissed. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to freaking want to get the one on the ground first. Because the one on the that flies around just swoops down and drops bombs, but the one on the ground can run you over while you're in the middle of something. And that's really frustrating. So, let's uh, avoid that mushroom. I think we just got Henry. Orville, I feel like, would be in red, just because... I'm picking which one is which. So, Orville was supposed to mean Golden City. So, here's some useless knowledge from Jolly Popple. I feel like we should make it an official thing because I have it all the time. I've been telling you about people's names for the past episode or two. And let's see what we got here. You found Mario's shoe! It smells like Mario's feet. What a coincidence! Didn't expect that to happen. There's supposed to be a heart in there. Call me Boris. Underbeavered. Uh, Boris, I guess, is where it's supposed to come from. Boris. Anyways. What? He totally has zero health. What? What the? Whatever. Let's get him. What the? What the? You saw that too? I hope you all saw that. Let he had zero health. What What the actual hell? Really. Alright. So now... Now where do we have to go? We have to go to this floor on the other way. Like, on the other side of everything. So, I'm gonna meet you over there. Hey guys, what's up? Back again. Um, I just didn't want you to have you guys watch that whole walking through the entire uh, mansion again thing, because it, it takes a long time. So anyways, we're in this room. I picked up the fire elemental on the way because there's candles in here. So let's keep going. Nice bass clarinet you got there. But anyways... Yeah, we can't we can't really uh, go this way. We can leave the room, but we can't go that way. Um, so what you have to do is you have to complete this room first. So light all of the candles. Forgot one over here. Then you know you gotta walk to the center. You know, I thought it would be really cool you know, to actually have a purple candle. I'm sure they make them somewhere, but I'd want one. Because it's a really cool looking candle, you know? But I like how the candles all turn back to red. 
So anyways, we're gonna battle waves of people in here. That was the first wave. Now there's going to be another wave. There it is. What I typically do is I get the popsicles first because the popsicles can get really annoying. Because once these guys lose their mask, they can't do anything to you. But the popsicles will just keep trying to punch you, even if you miss and stuff. So. Oh, there's two shy guys this time. So, with the white guys that latch on to you and stuff, um, it's not so bad when they're here because what they do is you can shake them off even while you're sucking up another ghost. So they're really not that deadly. They're actually really easy. Cool story, this is like, I'm pretty sure the first room where you don't get a, uh, you, d you don't get a treasure chest. Boonswoggle Pula! I don't even know what that one is supposed to be. I'm sorry, I really can't connect this. Where is he? There he is! He's over there. I hate how in the hallways, you really can't, like, suck anyone up. It's kind of really annoying. Now that boo went into the room back there. Uh, I can't get them right now, so I will do that later. We're gonna now trip over a mouse is what we're gonna do, and then we're going to continue on through this room. <clears throat> there we go. Should be all set. Now we're in like the observatory room. Look at this. It's, n it's nice. So let's look out the window and stare at some stars, because you know that's what you do here. It's a very pretty sky. I like it. Let's look at the moon. Let's zoom in on it. Yeah, I like the moon. Dee 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 dee. Oh, um, uh, I broke it. Guys, I broke it. Oh, Let's see if I can do this my first try. Nope. Not a chance. I did it in my practice recording. Um, too bad I didn't record it for real though. Because I always seem to mess this up. So, let me just skip to when I actually get it. There we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, I plan on looking at the news report later and seeing it say something along the lines of massive tidal waves are happening all around the world. Severe flooding and terrible things like that because the moon is in charge of our tides so uh luigi is now probably a mass murderer you found mario star my what a glittering why didn't you see the last word whatever it's a word and you could put it there but he's gonna basically be a mass murderer now he's gonna be wanted which is probably why he's gonna clear this mansion he's gonna live here forever Alright, so let's continue on. I need to grab the ice elemental, and then we're going to visit our little Aunt Petunia. Even in this game, when I when they said Petunia, I, I couldn't help but think of Harry Potter. I don't know if you guys had the same thing. Um, but it's just, it's just something that I can't get out of my head. It's Petunia. And Aunt Petunia. The, this Aunt Petunia. Look how gorgeous she looks. She's showering and everything. Ooh. Petunia means some sort of flower, and it came from South America or whatever. But let's let's peep on her. Oh! Oh, not what I not what I not what I thought it was. Jesus Christ. Uh this is not the Aunt Petunia that I expected to see in this room, especially after uh, after uh, seeing that shadow. Ghosts are misleading creatures if they're considered creatures by any of you. All right, now time to suck up somebody. I was happy that I got to suck up somebody who had zero health instead of having them walk away. That pearl is stuck. 
Alright. Where's this key gonna lead us? That's down a floor. I'm not gonna teleport quite yet, because I'm pretty sure there's a room right here that I need to clear. Yes, there is. So you need the water, and you're gonna open the toilet. It's gonna be a fire ghost in the toilet, because that's where I put my fire ghosts. Alright, so let's take him out. And I'm pretty sure all that we get in here is money, but who doesn't want more money? I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone wants money. I don't care what you say or if money's bad, it makes the world blah 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 blah. No, you want money. You just wish you had more. So anyways, I need to go back to the lobby, so let's go. This is probably one of the first times that I'm ever using this legitimately. Like, I don't really use it, ever. So the next guy we're going up against is in the billiards room. So he is, uh, I suppose you could call him a slim gentleman. If you look at that, look how thin he is. You want some of this? He's also a tough talker. But he's, he's a thin guy and he's an expert at pool. And he also plays chess between his shots, I guess. So he's gonna hit that. Oh, I don't know why if he ca he calls himself like bank shot, like best shot kind of thing. If he plays with four balls, it's not really impressive. Damn it! I completely missed all of that. Okay, cut back to real world. Hit him with one more. So let's wait for that to happen. In the meantime, let me just look at this. He plays chess, right? You've always wanted one of these, Luigi. But if you think about it, this entire th that entire chess set has only one color thing on it, so it's a, it's a completed game of chess. So, slim bank shot. Time to suck you up. For some reason, I can't get him very well. Like you saw how I got Petunia really fast. Well, I, I for some reason, he doesn't get it. Yep, I always hit- I always lose him just once. I don't know if- whatever. The only way to get a lower ranking is if you get hurt, I'm pretty sure. So, since I haven't gotten hurt yet, I should get a good ranking. Alright, oh, you kidding me. Alright, we should get him this time. Because when ghosts have zero health, they get caught. They don't frickin' keep going. Jesus. Alright. Money! Everyone loves money. Once again, you're a liar if you don't believe it. And if, you know what? If you don't love money, you love diamonds. Come on. Let's open these. Uh, I opened you. Let's play some chess. Boo hoo! At least this one is a thing we say, so it's not as bad of a big one. I mean, it's it's still pretty terrible. But I remember that there's that uh, knock knock joke that I, that we used to all tell when we were really kids and thought we were hilarious, even though it was really stupid. It's like knock knock, who's there? Boo, boo hoo! Don't cry, I'm just knocking on your door. Something like that. I don't know. I don't remember it entirely. This room is really similar to the mirror room, except we just have a spotlight instead. So, we just have to wait for their silhouettes to appear, or we could spin in circles, but I feel like that's a terrible method. I wonder what movie should actually be playing right now. Or if they should have put an actual movie in the background or something like that. I thought, I think it would be great. Just like, have parts of the movies blocked out because you're standing in front of it. I don't know, I just feel like a movie room that just has like a projector in it that doesn't have anything in it. So what kind of movie would you guys want to see in it? Maybe some Luigi's Mansion gameplay or a Nintendo commercial or a stupidly scary movie like Attack of the Tomatoes or something like that? I don't know, just leave it in the comments and I'll check it out. There's one more somewhere, but I, he hasn't been showing up. Oh, there's plenty more. Is 
For some reason, you can't suck these guys up after you knock them off. Yeah! Let's go. Yes, heart, heart. Ah! Yay, he's only got 10 health up. And then there's one more after this because he disappeared. And I'm pretty sure we don't, we, I don't remember what we get in this room. Might be a key. But I don't think it is. It's Mario's glove. Well, Mario's glove. I hope that you're ready to be worn. So anyways, I'm gonna catch this boo. And then, off screen, I'm gonna catch the other boo. And I think that'll be it for this episode. So thank you all for watching. I've been Jolly Poffle. I know it's been a pretty uneventful episode, and I, I talked, I didn't talk quite as much as I'd like to. But what, what are you gonna do? I mean, we're getting to the point in the game where it's just backtracking and walking around a lot. So thank you. I've been Jolly Poffle, as I said, and I hope to see you all once again next time.